beautiful people. It's Miss Berger, and I'm joined today by Mr. Lamb, and we're here to talk to you today about one, one step, step equation. equation. One step equations, right? So our learning target today is that you can solve one step equations. Yep, one step. Boom. So. Oh, what does it mean to keep an equation balanced in order to solve for the variable? So what you're going to find is when we talk about balancing an equation, we mean that whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do the exact same thing to the other side. Right, because they're equal to each other. So, right, they're on like a scale. Can I draw the balance scale? Oh, you can. That little triangle. Ooh, Ooh look at that. You are, nailed you are it, awesome. right? So, right, I mean, they have to so stay if I add, even. Well, let me, let, never mind, I got my own. So, like, if I add a plus 10 here, right, I have to add up. Plus 10 here to right. keep them balanced. Because if we just added 10 on this side, boop, we would be thrown off balance. Yeah, and we got to keep things balanced. Yes, yeah, so we'll show you what that means when we look at our equation. Would you like again. to do this first one? I will. And I know it's an equation because it has an equal sign, right? Uh, so I yeah. have 11 plus r equals negative 56, right? My job is to isolate the variable. Ooh, I always like to isolate the variable. Right? So the variable is like your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You're trying to have a little like time with your boyfriend and girlfriend, right? So you have to get your boyfriend and girlfriend. She always has to make it awkward. You have to get their friends away. So right now, the R is hanging out with 11. 11 of their friends. 11 friends. And you're like, I need these 11 friends to go so I can have alone time with my, with my significant R, right? Yeah. Or my significant other. So you have to kick those 11 people out. You have to kick Nicely. them to the other side. Nicely. So we always isolate the variable by doing the opposite or the inverse of what's with the variable. So if you have 11 friends, you need to subtract those 11. I need to 11. get rid of 11. So I'm going to subtract 11 from both sides. Remember, whatever I do on this side, I have to do on this side. 11 minus 11 is now 0. zero. So R is on this side alone. And negative 56 minus 11 is negative 67. Yeah, they're both negative numbers. Add them together. Yeah, and they're right. both negative. And I could use a calculator, you but could. I just didn't have to yeah. for that one. Yeah. But do remember, yes, you can always use a calculator for these, especially yes. negative numbers because they can get a little weird. It can get a little tricky. Oh, my turn. Your turn. Okay, now, you know, I'm not going to go into this smoochy smoochy thing. But, but we have D minus 19, okay? So we're taking 19 away from D, but I need D all by itself. To be alone. Yes, that's the only way you can solve an equation is to isolate the variable. So again, this is minus 19. Well, we What's always have inverse? to do the opposites, right? The inverse Ooh, of minus is? Fancy word, inverse. So the inverse would be to add. And to get rid of it, basically you just want it to go to zero. Ooh, that's a terrible Oh my beat. God. Did you fix that what for me? Is that? <laughs> Are you having a seizure and I don't know? Oh so if I added 15 to that side, 19. 19. Oh my God. I have to add, see, she's talking about seizures and stuff. Okay. I'll take over. But now again, calculator, right, can help you because again, this is integer operation. Yeah. So minus 15, so 15 plus 19. Plus 19. I got you, Mr. Lamb. It's 4. So D equals 4. four. And if you wanted to prove it, now the best way to do is always plug it back in and use that calculator. Desmos calculator. So we're going to take the 4, we're going to put it here. So we're going to say 4 minus 19 equals a negative 15. And if you See, plug it into your calculator and it 19 doesn't. Equals negative 15. And if it doesn't, then I'm you wrong. did something wrong. That's right. This is called variable substitution. We substitute the number we got back into the variable. Yeah. But it is a and good way to check. it's also a proof to your equation. Right. If you watch the next video of just kind of me with the screen castifies, I show you how to do that with the Desmos calculator. A little cool. trick that we'll use a lot. All right, so now it's my turn, right? So I have 14G equals 77. Well, I know that a number next to a variable means multiply, right? The number is called the coefficient, the, that copilot. So coefficient variable, that means those two things are being multiplied together. And the inverse of multiply is divide. No, I need it. I was going to do So I'm going to divide. Oh, okay. Well, Mr. Lim, I don't want to look silly, so don't, don't make me. So I need to divide each side by 14. Right? 14 divided by 14 is 1. So I just have 
g. Remember, 1g, I don't write the 1, I have g. Yep. And 77 divided by 14 is? 5.5. 5.5, look at it, see, it's decimal. Or if they wanted it as a fraction, I could write 5 and 1 half. Yeah, but that's where the calculator really does come into play. Yeah, because I did not want to do that double-double long division. <laughs> no. I didn't. So remember, inverse operation. So, multiplication, we do division. That's right, and we show our steps even though at this point we don't think we need to. Once we get into a little bit later oh, in the week. Oh, these are going to grow and grow We're going to show our steps. Okay, so obviously we've done addition, we've done subtraction, we've done multiplication. Obviously there's only one thing left, and that's to do multiplication. Yeah, I'm going to rewrite yeah. it with the fraction bar. Yeah, unfortunately, because the program we're writing in, we can't actually make it look like a fraction. It's fine. So it's always nice to rewrite. It's fixed now. Okay, so again, the whole idea here is to isolate the variable, the variable in this case, m. This is division. What's the opposite? Multiply. Oh, I was waiting for them to answer. Oh. So I'm going to multiply be here a long time. By 30. Yeah. Well, if I do it to one side, I gots to do it to the other side. Gots to. Gots to. Okay, so these two, I always like to say kill each other off. Ooh. Because I'm fairly violent. Cancel each other out. You could do that too. And then 14 times 30, using my handy dandy handheld calculator. I'll write your letter for you. Oh, thank you. 420. 420. I like to, I'm just going to show them real quick. When I do the ones that have the division, I like to just kind of like multiply. Oh, very it's good. It's just another way to, you know, yeah. like if you're like, I'm not going to write all of that on the outside, you just kind of loop right there and multiply. Yeah. All right, so that was one of each operation, so we're done. If you're confused or you want to learn that little trick in the Desmos, I would, watch go, that, I would go watch for the trick. Watch that next video. If not, start your work. We love ya. Bye. Mr. Lamb has to turn it off.